Hello, welcome to this FIWARE Academy course in the scope of uh, FIWARE security, ch security chapter and uh, regarding this uh, identity management key rock generic NIC. Uh, in the third lesson of this course, uh, I'm going to explain you how to register an external application in Keyrock in order to uh, allow other users to uh, register inside my application using their, their uh, Fiverr accounts. As always, uh, I'm going to work in Fiverr Lab environment, but of course, if you have your own Keyrock instance, you can uh, do the same, the same things. Okay, there. Um, to show you how to uh, create uh, OAuth two tokens, I'm going to show to uh, work with an uh, Node.js uh, example that, that we provide, and of course you can download and, and test. But uh, um, to, to start, it's important to understand that uh, OAuth two is uh, a protocol that uh, allows us to perform this, uh, this thing that I explained you in the, intro in the first lesson, in the, in the introduction lesson. That is, uh, that uh, the same mechanisms that the uh, Google accounts uh, uses uh, and uh, is the mechanisms that allows that having a single Fiverr account, you are able to uh, log in in all the services that we provide inside Fiverr. And as I uh, said, this is possible to OAuth2 protocol. And this is a protocol that not only us uh, are using, of course, and uh, as you can see here, is used by uh, a huge uh, number of uh, existing services. Okay. Um, probably uh, you have seen before uh, this type of buttons in different services that uh, allows you to, to log in in, in in an application, for instance, in, uh, uh, I don't know, for instance, in a slideshow or, or something like that, uh, you can, uh, instead of creating an account uh, in that service, you can log in using your existing Facebook account or Twitter account. This is, uh, again, uh, possible due to this Fiverr, uh, this uh, out to uh, protocol and in Fiverr we are doing the same. So in the same way that uh, when you use other applications like the cloud portal or, or the wire cloud application, you are using your account, uh, your account uh, in Fiverr lab. If you are providing an external application, you can include this type of uh, authentication. Uh, how the architecture of this protocol works is a thing that I'm not going to explain you with detail in this uh, lesson because I, uh, I think this is not the scope of, the le of this lesson. But uh, there is uh, uh, several tutorials in, in that you can find in the web in, in order to understand how the protocol works. Okay? But basically, what we need from an external uh, web application is to include an OAuth2 library that uh, are provided in, uh, in several languages, in several programming languages, and when the uh, when a user uh, wants to log in in this external application, he is redirected to the Fiverr Keyrock generic enabler. So here in this uh, Fiverr, uh, uh, Fiverr, Fiverr portal. Uh, Fiverr Keyrock portal, the user will introduce their credentials. The credentials are never stored uh, here in the external application and are uh, managed uh, here in, in the Fiverr identity management component. If the authentication succeeds, uh, the component will interchange uh, some request between the web with the web application and the final result is an access token that is a token that represents the user in Keyrock. So, with, uh, in this applic web application and using this access token, you are able to uh, send requests to Keyrock in order to retrieve information uh, about the user that is logged in. Okay. Um, this is the perhaps the 
the more use uh, mechanism, you know, out to, but it's not the only one that uh, can you use in order to uh, retrieve or to create these o out to tokens. In the uh, documentation of uh, Keyrock, we explain how to uh, retrieve this token using the four mechanisms that uh, we are providing, that, that the, the four mechanisms that uh, implement so out to. Okay, but in this demo, I'm going to use the first one, that is uh, the mechanism that, in, that uh, is shown in this figure. Okay, so when you have this uh, OAuth token, this access token, you can uh, retrieve information from the user uh, from Keyrock, but you can also use this token in order to send requests to other firewall generic enablers. Okay, the mechanism is that one, is this one. When you have the access token here, you can send requests to other firewall generic enablers, and this way we are adding security to, uh, to the firewall generic enablers. And this way, only users that uh, have a firewall account will be able to send requests uh, with uh, to other firewall generic enablers. Because when this firewall generic enabler receives a token, uh, he will check. Uh, he will validate the token with firewall keyrock and only if the token is valid uh, the generic enabler will perform the requested action okay this is a thing that uh, we explain in the pep proxy build my generic enabler because um, these generic enablers uh, include uh, inside um, this uh, other generic enabler. So in order to understand better how these mechanisms work, you have to go to that courses, to those courses, okay? But uh, yes, only a summary, uh, in order to send the calls to other generic enablers, you have to include this uh, token in the, in the header, okay? Um, here uh, I provide you uh, the, um, the link uh, to the user guide, also to this OAuth 2 document in which you will find the documentation about the four, uh, the four uh, mechanisms and also the specification of the OAuth 2 protocol. Okay? And in the main page of the firewall courses, you will, and under security uh, chapter courses, you will find also this uh, PEP proxy course in which you will understand how how it works. Okay. So let's go to the to the demo um, in which uh, I'm going to explain you how to register a new application in Fireware Lab and how to uh, implement these mechanisms in order to create OAuth two tokens. Okay. So the first thing is uh, in the in the main page create a, or register a new application. Okay, uh, we have to perform three steps. The first one is uh, to put here the, the name. Okay, I commit to put here firewall course uh, application uh, description. Uh, this is uh, a test uh, application, and uh, here I have to introduce. Uh, two important params. The first one is the URL where the where the application will run, in this case in my local machine, and the callback URL is uh, the URL that I want to uh, and the URL that uh, the, 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 key, the Keyrock uh, generic enabler, the Keyrock uh, the account portal will redirect the user once he is correctly authenticated in the platform, okay? If you remember the flows that I explained to you before, uh, when the user is correctly authenticated, um, the, the Fiverr account portal redirects the user again to my application, including this uh, token, and this is uh, the, the URL that, uh, that I have to, to implement, okay? In this case, uh, login path. I, I click here in next and uh, here I can include uh, an icon for the application, in this case I, I put the default one 
And the last step allows me to configure roles and permissions inside the application. Again, this is a thing that I explained you in the PEP proxy course. So I, I'm going to finish here the registration of the application. So once the application is created, uh, I have uh, here the OAuth2 credentials that are important because I have to include them in my OAuth2 library. Okay, so now in my application, I have to include an OAuth2 library that allows me to send requests to, to a Fireware account. In order to do so, as I introduced before, I'm going to use this uh, Node.js example that uh, you can find here in GitHub and basically uh, it's a web server that uh, uh, using Express include a button that allows the users to log in using the Fiware, the Fiware accounts. Okay, so you can see here that this is the main, uh, the main server file that uh, handle the request. Uh, some uh, configuration uh, files and this OAuth2.js uh, file is the um, is the OAuth2 library for Node.js. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to clone this repository in my local my machine in order to show you how it works. Okay, so the first thing is to to clone here the to clone here the, um, the repository and install the dependencies uh, that uh, he'll need in the in npm install. Sorry, I have to enter the, the folder and uh, inside the folder here I can see the files and I have to install the dependencies. Okay, that in this case, uh, sorry, install. in this case, uh, is express and uh, in order to manage the web server, okay. Uh, one of the files that I have here is a configuration template uh, in which I have to introduce, uh, as you can see here, where is the account portal and here these two parameters that uh, the account portal has generated when registering the application, okay. This is uh, also an important parameter because it's the callback URL and this uh, uh, must be the same that I have put when registered the application. Okay, here I can also configure uh, which uh, or how to mechanisms uh, I want to to use in the application. In in this case, I use the the default one that is the code that is the one that I have explained you. So, the first thing here uh, after install the dependencies is to clone this config.js template in the real one, that is this one, config.js, and uh, edit it in order to introduce the correct configuration, okay? The IDM uh, URL, each HTTP is the one of uh, FireWareLab, account.lab.fireware.org, okay? And here I have to uh, copy the credentials that uh, I have obtained when register the applications. That are the client ID and here the client secret. Okay, so uh, this uh, configuration is uh, introduced in the OAuth2 library. You can take a look uh, to to, ha to the library um, downloading the the code. And uh, if I start uh, If I start the, the server, okay, with sudo because I'm starting importing 80, uh, I'm going to log out uh, in the in the platform, okay. And now, if I go to to uh, my local host uh, here, you can see that uh, this application only have a button that say. Okay, log in with my Fireware account. If I click in the button, he uh, automatically redirects me to the main uh, login page. And here you can see that he is asking me to log in in this Fireware course app, that is the application that I just created. I uh, sign in in the platform, and the first time that I log in in an application, 
the Fiverr account portal asks me to allow uh, this application to access my information, my user information. I can deny it, but in this case, I'm going to authorize. So, okay, now I'm again in localhost, that is the, the URL of my application, and I am authenticated. So, the IBM have, has created for me an OAuth2 token, and using this token, I can send a new request in order to retrieve my user information, that in this case is the username and the um, email address. Of course, using this token, I can also send requests to uh, other generic enablers and uh, they uh, will know that, uh, of course, that, in fact, this user is correctly authenticated. As I said before, you can check in the documentation other methods to obtain these uh, tokens, uh, but uh, this is the, the, the main one, so this is the one that I uh, that I have shown you in this first course, okay? So, thank you so much, and bye.